Thank you, Adrian. Having come to terms with the fact that football isn't coming home for the foreseeable future, we can now say with some certainty that Haaland's coming home tonight. City's number nine has left a trail of destruction since arriving in the Premier League, but returns to the city of his birth to meet a team coached by the man he credits with helping to develop him as a teenager. But sentiment may not help Leeds and Jesse March with City eight points off the pace at the moment they need to win this game here tonight a reminder of the two teams once again two changes four leads for sure and greenwood come in for the suspended adams and the injured Somerville, although he is on the bench it is melier in goal christiansen cock cooper and strike the back four for sure and rocker in midfield nonto aronson and greenwood behind rodrigo Four changes for City, Laporte, Cancelo, Bernardo Silva and Foden are all on the bench. Ake, Lewis, Grealish and Mares come in. Edison in goal, Stones, Akanyi, Ake and Lewis the back four. De Bruyne, Rodri and Gundogan in midfield. Grealish and Mares supporting Haaland in attack. And Erling Haaland peels off his bright yellow Manchester City tracksuit top. And he looks a formidable player to face Leeds United here tonight at Ellen Road. A wonderful atmosphere, as always. But Lucy Ward, can Leeds stop him? Well, it's all about the start, Nigel. The first sort of 10 or 15 minutes. Leeds' game plan is to, it'll be to hurry and press Manchester City when they've got the ball. The crowd will get behind them. And it's about not conceding in those opening part of the game. And then you can see where you go from there. Jesse Marsh will have split this game up into... into quarters or thirds, whatever he does to make sure they get to those, that point and make sure they haven't conceded, so the first bit is so important The situation at the top of the table Arsenal on top with 40 points Newcastle with 33 Manchester City with games in hand have 32, Leeds starting this match, 15th in the table, 2 points clear of the relegation zone and they have 2 games in hand on all of the teams beneath them and it's Manchester City who will get this match underway. Erling Haaland in his red and black striped Manchester City away shirt. Leeds in all white. And there has been so much anticipation building up to this game. Manchester City now in pursuit of two teams at the top of the table. Arsenal and Newcastle. Leeds United... I've had matches full of goals recently, but they've often found themselves on the losing side, and that will have to stop if they are to maintain their Premier League position. Both sets of players take the knee before kickoff, and we are underway at Allen Road, the final match of the Boxing Day programme, live and exclusive to national radio here on Talk Sport. Erling Haaland returning to Leeds looking to fire Manchester City back towards the top of the Premier League table here is Grealish booze for him early on on this near side now Nathan Ake who was an ever present for the Netherlands at the World Cup and City look to build on this near side again with Ake over the top for Haaland his first opportunity his first touch and Melier makes a partial save it's cleared away at the far post by strike and in the end Leeds escape and Haaland with his first touch following the World Cup almost comes up with the opening goal yeah and Leeds had a really high line and it just allowed Haaland to just run past I think it was Liam Cooper and he made a good save in the end and it was cleared straight back to Haaland but that was a massive chance for him it's won back on this near side by the American Brendan Aronson. Grealish makes the challenge. It's frenetic in the opening minute or so here. Greenwood then has a nibble at Rodri. And City have the ball back in the centre circle with Stones. De Bruyne wide towards Rico Lewis. Big night for him, the 18-year-old. His first match away from home for Manchester City. And it comes here at Ellen Road. I have to say, Rico Lewis is obviously trusted by Guardiola. He's a, he's a part of this squad. He's not just like a young player coming through now. He's a trusted part of this Manchester City squad. And he's, he's just fitted into that right back, inverted right back, where he goes alongside Rodri when City have the ball. And he looks like he's been there all his life. Grealish with the socks rolled down, coming forward again on this near side. Challenged by Christensen. Appeals for a free kick, but City have the ball back anyway. 
Mares wide towards the left again. And Grealish, he can attack the penalty area. Low ball into the six yard box. Is scraped away by Cock. And eventually Leeds will clear it high up towards the halfway line where it's gathered by Edison. Only 15 yards inside the city half, but Leeds are very deep at the start here. Rodri, wide to this near side again and Grealish. Everything coming down the city left hand side in the opening two minutes on Talk Sport. Akanji with a high ball forward, seeking out Mares, who cushions the header further wide towards De Bruyne. Back inside towards Mares again, and Stuart Atwell has given the free kick this time for the challenge on Mares by Forshaw. It will lead to set up in a 4-3-3 now. Jesse Marsh plays 4-2-3-1, that's what he plays, but he's, he's, he's messed about with the 4-3-3 in, during the friendly period where they played a few friends and it's worked quite well. So he's basically got three in midfield that are going to have to do a lot of work to get out wide and, and cover De Bruyne. But it's been quite a frenetic start. What I would say is Leeds fly into challenges when they need a little bit more discipline, but that high line and, and Haaland running is a, is a recipe that's for That's a very those. dangerous game, <laughs> isn't it? Just a bit. Free kick for Manchester City, midway inside the Leeds half. And it's clipped in towards Haaland, who looks to roll the challenge and fire the shot in. Eventually, though, it is scrambled clear. He almost rolled Mark Rocker there at the far post, but missed his kick in the end. And Leeds escape once again. Yeah, it's a clever free kick, actually, and he was unlucky not to be able to get his left foot on it, Haaland. But he's been involved in the opening three or four minutes more than probably any other Man City player. Alfredo Morelos has given Rangers the lead in Scotland against Motherwell. 7.45 kick-off, 8 o'clock start in Edinburgh. Hibs against Celtic, other goals going in early on. Dundee United 1, Ross County 0 and St Johnston 0, Hearts 1. As Rodrigo wins it back for Leeds on the halfway line. Now Greenwood forward towards Rodrigo again, but it's overhit, covered by a Akanji. And now... Rico Lewis again, but it's a nervous ball four from him, and Nonto looks to release the challenge of strike on the edge of the penalty area. A back heel from Rodrigo there, looking for support behind him, but none was forthcoming. And now Grealish goes down in the left-back position on this near side, challenged by Greenwood, and it will be another free kick for Manchester City with four minutes play. Yeah, it's just five or six weeks of pent-up frustration from, from the Leeds fans, and made Grealish know what they thought about his foul. Lewis once again for Manchester City back towards Aganji one of 16 players for Manchester City involved at the World Cup only Barcelona had more across the whole tournament although only one of City's 16 won't be on the quarterfinals and of course that was Julian Alvarez who is still on leave and I noticed that Lionel Messi of course is not lining up for Paris Saint-Germain this evening in their return to Ligue 1 against Strasbourg but both Neymar and Kylian Mbappe are playing Stones has been caught late by Nonto late on the far side but Stuart Atwell allows play to continue Stones is still down but here is Grealish on this near side gives it back to Ake and now Akanji once again City won both matches last season with an 11-0 aggregate including a 4-0 success here as the ball forward from De Bruyne is beyond Haaland this time and it's claimed by Ilian Melier who was playing after a significant bout of glandular fever. Yeah, that was that's the ball from Manchester City from De Bruyne in that sort of area where he sort of a little diagonal into the feet but it has to be perfect and usually it is from him for Haaland to get on the end of. Now Ake on this near side brings the clearance from Melier down on his chest, clears it forward, Gundogan finding Haaland, spread wide to the right and Mares has got Lewis in support and now Lewis can attack the penalty area, infield towards De Bruyne with the shot, right footed curler and just wide, and Melier stands there, arms wide open saying what on earth can we do about that tell you what, it's a good move from City, they're keeping the ball well, under Leeds' his pressure, and everybody in the, this side of the stadium anyway thought that, that was going in the back of the net, a collective holding of breath in the Leeds fans but it was probably a metre wide Leeds with only four wins so far this season and they've only once had fewer points in a Premier League campaign and that was when they went down back in 2004 at this stage but here is Cooper curled over the top looking for the Young Italian Nonto to chase, making his full home debut here this evening. It's played back towards Edison, and Edison 
under pressure, clears the ball high into the stand on the far side, and it will be a throw in for Leeds. And their first opportunity here with nearly seven minutes played on talk sport to really try and build an attack. Yeah, and that's the area. Nonto on that left hand side when Rico Lewis comes inside, inverted alongside Rodri. That's the space. Stones has to cover it, but he doesn't want to come out and, and engage. But Nonto has the pace that can hurt on transition, but Leeds have to get the ball first. Now Grealish again, just in front of Jesse Marsh on this near side. Both managers wrapped up against the elements here. It's a very chilly evening with a strong wind whipping around this famous old stadium as well. Grealish has three Leeds players very quickly converging on him, but it gets it back towards Ake. It's interesting, Jesse Marsh then, Chris just held up Jack Grealish and he basically told him next time I want you to go through him that's what he indicated to him so I think that's what they're Take looking at yep. maybe that's why Jesse Marsh's team have committed more fouls per game than any other side in the Premier League since his arrival here now Rasmussen again with a good ball down the line and an opportunity for Aronson to attack all the fans around us are on their feet in the John Charles stand Aronson believes he was fouled by Rodri but the officials disagree and Grealish plays a very deliberate ball Right to the far side, and Mares in gloves and short sleeves this evening. Back in field to Lewis, and City very quickly have eight outfield players forward around the Leeds penalty area. Ake, back towards Gundogan again, Grealish offers down the left-hand side. It's a poor ball back towards Akanyi, just has to scamper to get there before Rodrigo in the centre circle. And the move then breaks down as Mark Rocket does well to win it back from Ake. And Leeds now will try and bring it forward with Forshaw. But it's Haaland who comes back to make the challenge on this near side. But Forshaw does play it forward towards Aronson. The return ball back towards Aronson, though, is overhit straight out of play. But the Leeds crowd drawing encouragement from that. I'll tell you what, a lot of quality from Manchester City, as you'd expect in possession, dealing with the ball in tight areas, one or two touch. But Leeds have had a couple of times where they've moved the ball quickly. Forshaw there got a away from Haaland Haaland looked like his dad playing with him in the garden then and just towers over all the players well, his dad was on the touchline before kickoff, doing work for Norwegian television here tonight real media interest in this game from around the world with Manchester City's return to Premier League action live and exclusive to national radio only here on TalkSport and we will be around the grounds tomorrow night almost a full card of action in the EFL and then on Friday on TalkSport 8 o'clock kickoff Liverpool against Leicester over on TalkSport 2 at 7.45 it is West Ham against Brentford these are not getting close enough to Jack Grealish and Christensen on playing right back he's sort of staying probably a yard away from him not getting close enough to close him down now De Bruyne closed down by a combination of Cock and Mark Rocker Leeds will try and bring it forward now with Aronson. Nonto in space on the left-hand side, but Rico Lewis quickly closes him down. And it's all the way back with Liam Cooper again. Ten minutes played here at Ellen Road on Talk Sport. Nil-nil between Leeds and Manchester City. City beginning this game. Eight points behind Arsenal, who are currently at the top of the table. Leeds only two points above the relegation zone and when you consider they have a game coming up next away to Newcastle they could really do with something here tonight yeah, they, they've seen other teams around them lose that first game back the Boxing Day set of, of games and Leeds will be looking at this it's difficult to see Leeds getting a point but we've seen them perform against top six teams we've seen them beat Chelsea we've seen them give a, a game to Arsenal and Arsenal probably quite lucky to, to win it so they know they've got it in them at, at Ellen Road here is Ake it's cut out well on the edge of the centre circle by Forshaw who just stepped in before Erling Haaland once again and at the moment Leeds are just trying to collectively stop Haaland by almost surrounding him with three or four players but the risk as was pointed out before kickoff is there are some very good players now in plenty of space as a result of that yeah Leeds are getting bodies as compact as possible so that the passing lanes into Haaland and I think Forshaw started very well well he's putting himself into areas of the pitch that stops that ball going into him directly 
five minutes played. You'll hear the roar of appreciation from the home crowd as Greenwood careers into Ake on this near side to just ensure that the ball forward from the Dutch international only bobbles into the Leeds technical area. And here is Akanji once again. Right towards John Stones. And City at the moment are just happy to be watchful here. It's, it's, it's funny now because in possession City when they've got comfortable possession Rico Lewis goes inside and it's like a 3-2-5 they've got five up front and that's how they get the ball up the pitch and progress the ball up the pitch but John Stones just let the ball run out for a throw and what you can't do if you're City is make too many mistakes because the crowd just get going and it drives the Leeds players on City with ten wins two draws and two defeats the same record as they enjoyed at this stage last season but they have scored 11 more goals and Haaland was almost released by De Bruyne down the centre there again he was goal side of Cooper but the ball was slightly over hit now Nonto battling away with Rico Lewis the two teenagers on the far side in direct competition and Nonto won the ball on that occasion but it's a, it's a difficult job for Liam Cooper but he can't allow Haaland to get half a yard behind him because he's gone yeah exactly I, I think if you if you are going to play a highish line then there's got to be pressure on the ball and that's that's quite important for Leeds and I think the times that they haven't had pressure on the ball that's when City have just been able to play that dink over the top to Haaland now Melier only two clean sheets for him so far this season plays it forward for Leeds Rasmussen does well to win the ball in the air Rodrigo wide to Greenwood on this near side the Leeds right infield again to Mark Rocker the space for Rodrigo on the edge of the penalty area but he has to check back and then find Greenwood again making only his second Premier League start of the season Rasmussen forward again down the right infield to Rocker and Leeds are forced back towards the halfway line Cock finding Rasmussen again good ball forward for Greenwood who makes the run into the penalty area Akanji comes across and will have to play this and now by the corner flag he gets support from Grealish and Mark well, Rocker left plenty on him there he's furious that the flag was up for an infringement but it is a free kick to Manchester City actually Grealish has done well he's received the ball with, with his back to play a number of times and then as soon as you try and challenge him from behind he's going to go down and he's going to get a free kick so you've got to, you've got to stand up Jesse Marsh is kicking off on the sideline and but that's Rocker's fault you don't, you don't try and pinch it from behind because you're always going to bring the player down free kick is taken quickly here sulfurous atmosphere inside the stadium at the start of this game 14 minutes played nil nil City with the game's best chance in the opening seconds but Haaland was denied by Melier now Edison with a high ball forward again and oh it's been missed by striker now an opportunity for Mares to come in field towards the edge of the penalty area and he's got support from De Bruyne the crossing for Gundogan but his glancing header is wide do you know what caused that then Nigel because City have drawn leads onto them by pass 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 short passes and then all of a sudden Edison's done one of his long balls direct right in behind and City have got right up the pitch and nearly scored and under one probably not the one you want on the end of a, a, a headed chance but that was a that's a warning to Leeds that you've just got to be on your metal you've got to be concentrating the whole time OK Gundogan along with Kevin De Bruyne departed the World Cup at the group stage two of the big shots Erling Haaland of course wasn't involved at all but that may be to Manchester City's benefit the longer the season goes on as Nonto slides in and almost wins it back for Leeds midway inside the City half but here is Rico Lewis again on the far side back to John Stones who was an ever present for England during the World Cup now Rodri finding Ake and now Grealish down the left Rasmussen though comes in with a firm but fair challenge and wins the ball and Leeds will try and break now with Greenwood a ball down the line for the scampering Aronson Rodrigo makes the ball in field towards the edge of the penalty area but Stones gets there first rides the challenge of Rodrigo Ake will find Rodri six yards out inside the penalty area but City have the know-how and the quality to play their way out of trouble the Leeds crowd look to get behind their team to force the press here but City on that occasion were just too clever and Leeds knew it tell you what the, City, the way that City deal with the ball under pressure 
in their own box. That's Rodri just doing a turn in the box away from because, and that's what Guardiola is quite happy because his team are good enough to be left one on one, and that's the risk that they take as well. And that's why they sometimes concede. Nearly 17 minutes play. Gundogan on the break again down the right, and he catches Cooper on the far side in the left back area, and it will be a free kick for Leeds this time and just a word from Stuart Atwell the referee towards the City captain this evening yeah Gundogan was already sliding probably not the best tackler is he and Cooper's gone down got, got himself back up again but it's definitely was a foul Lucy Ward the former Leeds United striker alongside us here on Talk Sport this evening and we are back with game day on New Year's Eve Wolves against Manchester United a 12.30 start with Clive Tilsley and Stuart Pearce and Adrian will be alongside Mark Wilson and Danny Mills also on Talk Sport with Manchester City against Everton at three and don't forget currently ongoing over on Talk Sport two at the moment the world darts from the Ali Pali Peter Wright the defending champion one of the big names to go out yesterday but I think Leeds after a fairly difficult start will be fairly happy with the way things are going yeah they've not had much of, of the ball but they'll have known that that's what was going to happen it's about that when they win it back that first pass out the first movement where do you go where do you receive it and, and obviously you've got to be, have the quality to make that pass and we've seen from City that they've got back in numbers and they've passed the way out of trouble Alan Forrest with a second for Hearts in Perth they lead St Johnston by two goals to nil in Scotland as it breaks down for City in the midfield area once again but then Green would look for Aronson and it's beyond him and City will now try and build on the far side with Lewis but good pressure from both Forshaw and Aronson and you just wonder how long Forshaw will be able to keep up this pace here of course he had ankle surgery in September he's missed eight successive Premier League games plus the break and this is first start at this level since April it's done all right so far, but like you say, Nigel, it's the intensity in keeping that going throughout 90 minutes. Now, Rico Lewis has been caught 15 yards inside the Leeds half, and it will be a free kick. Yeah, that was Forshaw as well. Lewis took a touch, and then he was right on him. Forshaw just a slight bit late with the challenge, and another free kick for Manchester City. Mares is over it, and Leeds have pulled everybody back behind the ball here. With nearly 20 minutes played, Leeds nil, Manchester City nil here on Talk Sport. Yet another Premier League commentary in what has been a festive period to remember so far. Free kick played short by Mares. Now Gundogan, 30 yards out, fires in the right footed shot, and Melier was nowhere there, and it wasn't too far wide. Yeah, everybody was waiting for the ball into the box and it was played square by Mares to Gundogan and he basically had a shot with lots of bodies in the way of Melier just needed any sort of touch but I think he was quite thankful Melier that the ball was always drifting wide You're listening to Manchester City against Leeds on Talk Sport with Now Sports don't forget with Now Sports you can stream the Premier League live without a contract from 11.99 search Now Sports 18 plus stream by the internet terms apply and Leeds yet to really muster anything close to an attempt on goal here here is Grealish down the centre and he engaged strike he went down and Stuart Atwell has said no free kick Grealish is down in some pain just outside the penalty area but play continues around it well that looked to be the most obvious free kick that Grealish has got already tonight but the referee was quite close to it looks in some discomfort that the crowd are enjoying it now the referee will approach Grealish it just seemed that strike was beaten by him and just body checked him we're looking at the replay and that seems to bear out what we originally thought yeah he's done a lot of, of good work Grealish in coming off the line and but he just basically ran into strike I think that's what the, the referee thought strike just stood there stood him up didn't touch him really but he then he ran into him so there was a, a real collision City with 75% of the possession so far all of the four shots on goal the only effort on target in the game and they've had 
207 passes now, Leeds have had 73, it could be that sort of game, but it's the sort of game that Leeds need to try and stay in as long as possible. Yeah, I watched them against Brentford, and what Brentford did well is that their ball forward was good, and that the forwards, the likes of Ivan Tony, causing loads of problems, loads of problems for the centre-backs of, of Manchester City, but Leeds haven't quite got to that stage yet. And Grealish is hobbling off towards this near side after treatment, there was no free kick given, there are one or two quizzical looks from some Manchester City players towards Stuart Atwell. The play will resume with a drop ball and you can hear the boos from the Leeds fans around us here in the John Charles stand and Grealish has stood there, arms outstretched, talking to Michael Salisbury, the fourth official. Yeah, he's getting some stick but he won't be bothered, all these fans would rather be him and sat in the crowd watching him play that's for sure Calvin Phillips did give a thumbs up to the Leeds crowd behind the bench when he took his place among the Manchester City subs I'm sure his family's here tonight yeah I'm a big Leeds family and he's probably a little bit nervous about coming back but you know, the Leeds fans will always love him I don't think there'll be any animosity there at all you can hear the boos for Grealish 23 minutes played here on Talk Sport Leeds nil, Manchester City nil. Okay, swirls a high ball forward on this near side. Haaland will try and get there before Cooper, but Cooper is helped out by Rasmussen and Leeds maintain possession. And they work their way up towards the halfway line, but Greenwood's pull forward just evades. Brendan Aronson the and City have it back sorry Nice. the problem that Leeds got is that the centre backs have to be at full tilt to, physically to deal with Haaland so you've got to be absolutely perfect nearly every single time that you deal with him in a one on one and you made the point earlier on when City have the ball in this sort of area midway inside the Leeds half they've got six players forward and Leeds will have to cover a huge amount of ground to stop them and then they have to try and think about how they can create at the other end and it's a very difficult balancing act yeah it is and it's a, like I say it's about the areas that you counter into but you know City the thing about City is they work hard out of possession as well and they're quite prepared to win the ball back high up the pitch and they're prepared for that when they do have the ball they're always thinking about the next phase Connor Goldson with the second goal for Rangers they lead Motherwell by two goals to nil at Ibrox still Hibs nil Celtic nil in a game which got underway at eight o'clock Another high ball played forward again for Manchester City, wide on the far side, but beyond both Pascal Strike and Riyad Mahrez, and it will be a throw in two leads. The best way to follow all of the action over the festive period is to download the Talk Sport app, and you can go to the live commentary section and swipe between the relevant stations when we have more than one game underway, and that will be the case early next week on Monday. Game day live with Dan Windle with all the goals as they go in. Followed by Brentford against Liverpool at 5.30 on Talk Sport. And then Queen's Park Rangers against Sheffield United also on Talk Sport from the Championship. We've got Man United against Bournemouth on Tuesday. And on Wednesday on Talk Sport 2, Saints against Forest. That's a big game at the bottom. And on Talk Sport, Villa against Wolves. All those games coming up ahead of the FA Cup third round on the Talk Sport Network. And we have nine commentaries coming up from the FA Cup third round. Somehow, we will fit them all in. Here is Rico Lewis coming forward for Manchester City, wearing 82 on his back. Bright white number on a dark black shirt here. And Lewis again finds Gundogan, and it's Stones who joins in. And as Lucy mentioned earlier on, Stones pulls wide to give Lewis the opportunity to, to join up in the middle and when City do that they just pack that midfield area yeah. and Leeds are always chasing shadows yeah they, they just overload central areas both Grealish and Mahrez are holding the width though and it just allows De Bruyne and Gundogan to go in that inside challenge and at times Gundogan's been joining Haaland up front well, a long ball played forward again and strike wasn't sure where Mahrez was there so hooks the ball away from Melier on the edge of the penalty area Rasmussen clears it forward again, but it's blocked by Gundogan. Koch then heads it in field to Forshaw. Rocker with the ball over the top, and it's beyond Aronson and Rodrigo. And here is Stones again. They're doing well with the press, Nigel, but, but 
you've got to offer an outlet there has to be a threat when Leeds win it back a couple of times they've got up the pitch but nothing's really come of it it just encourages City onto you if you don't have that outlet 26 and a half minutes played here on Talk Sport Leeds United nil Manchester City nil and a bitterly cold but vibrant Ellen Road in the Premier League Ake again just had to slide there and play it wide to Grealish who was caught by Greenwood so as a result the ball squirts into the path of Mark Rocker another fair head Rasmussen but Gundogan again just steps in before Greenwood and Leeds have a throw in on this near side and, and to be honest Lucy we mentioned the FA Cup third round and at the moment this also almost has the feel of an FA Cup tie would lead to the lower division team I don't mean any disrespect to them but the way they're set up and the way they're trying to play absolutely and I think that's what it, that's the it leads his best way of winning a game like this against the likes of Manchester City he's making it a little bit of chaos because Leeds will benefit from that chaos and they have a free kick here just inside the City half Rocker was challenged by Gundogan and it's not the first Gundogan challenge we've seen so far tonight but just a word from Stuart Atwell and it will be a free kick here for Leeds with 28 minutes played and this is their first real opportunity to try and load the penalty area or something close to it and they have sent everybody forward into the City half here Rocker with the free kick and it's a real waste because it was played forward strike clip stones when the ball's in mid-flight and City have a free kick well to say that was a waste is an understatement Leeds chances tonight will be few and far between so when you, they get a set piece they have to make it work yeah it's quite windy here but that's the more that City think that Leeds aren't a threat the more that they'll come onto them and Liam Cooper just having words with the referee as that free kick was given but it was fairly clear that it was an infringement which was always going to be given by a referee looking along the line as the ball was played in you're listening to Leeds against Manchester City on Talk Sport with Car Finance 24-7 search Car Finance 24-7 today 29 minutes played nil nil Gundogan finding Greedish now left hand side of the penalty area and the cross in was blocked by Rasmus or by Christensen rather and it will be the first corner kick of the game to Manchester City Rodri is such an important player for City he gets the ball lots of space around him and then to just play straight up the pitch vertical and in the end Greenish just went for power Christensen defended well and De Bruyne will take the corner kick at the Don Revy stand end and the flag by him has been buffeted by the wind here and a plastic water bottle also bobbles across De Bruyne's path and the corner driven in towards the near post and it's claimed by Melier on the goal line in his midriff and that was a very interesting delivery I tell you what a strike that was from De Bruyne it was just drilled probably about half a metre off the floor and it went past a few under one ducked and I think Melier was quite happy that it landed in his arms now Christensen on this near side but again Grealish just stops him from making any progress forward and we've spoken about Leeds' lack of threat they have actually scored 11 goals in their previous four league games of course Rodrigo has five of those Vicencio Somerville who's on the bench tonight has got four but the goals have been flowing but they've still picked up only eight points in their last 11 games yeah. and that's the problem they can't keep a clean sheet so if you're ever doing a bet both teams to score with Leeds is a, is a particularly good one now De Bruyne looking for Haaland inside the penalty area Haaland again is denied by Melier a really good save there made himself big and stood firm and the rebound was off Haaland and it scrambled away on this near side I mean it was a terrific ball I think it was De Bruyne I don't even have to look it was De Bruyne but Melier did so well Haaland ends up bearing down on him he took it I think he passed it I think Cooper actually got a touch on it as well which forced it into Melia but that's a massive chance for Haaland exactly where City wants him corner kick in the end on this near side and Haaland's had two sighters here and you just get the feeling if Leeds keep offering him those sorts of opportunities sooner or later he'll score 31 minutes play Gundogan with the corner kick this time on the left hand side Leeds have everybody back defending as the wind continues to swirl around that penalty area 
Haaland peels away to the far post. The corner into the near post is cleared. It's controlled by Mares. Then back to Lewis. Scoop wide to this near side. And in the end, there was a Leeds touch. Was that? Well, yeah. Gundogan is convinced yeah. it's a corner and the officials that's, agree. I think that's why he left it. Gundogan actually left it because he knew that it would be the Leeds touch. Played short, back towards Gundogan, the cross into the area, headed away at the near post by Rocker, and then headed further clear, but only as far as Rodri. Now Mares with the cross into the penalty area, Grealish on the stretch, three yards out, puts it over the top. Wow, I think Grealish ended up going with his wrong foot, it's a clever little ball from Mares, just a little dink over the top. I'm not sure that Grealish expected it, but he was right in front of goal. Probably his left foot going with it there and guide it into the back of the net, but these fans behind the goal enjoyed that. He was onside as well, looking at the replay. He could have maybe even stooped to head that. But he scooped it high over the top. Another let off for Leeds, and there have been a few of those so far in the game. 32 minutes played, nil-nil, Aronson coming forward now, finding Nonto, left-hand side of the penalty area, three wait for the cross, Nonto may go alone, he's still going, low left-footed ball and is blocked by Gundogan, Rocker will try and win it back, but Lewis does just enough, here is Nonto again, supported by strike, and all the way back to Forshaw, now Rocker, finding Nonto, wearing the gloves, looking to attack the byline, drifts inside the penalty area, Rodri just gets a foot in and in the end it's a hurry clearance on the far side by Rico Lewis and Leeds have a throw in well Nonto is the outlet I was talking about and they haven't got the ball to him anywhere near enough when they've got the ball back Leeds and he just causes problems because Lewis has like we said they've gone inside from right back so Stones has to go out and cover it it just causes a few jitters in that Manchester City back four and Pascal Strike who recently signed a new contract here with the long throw into the near post it's flicked on and then Nonto with the shot it came to him quickly right footed and it's high over the top but it will go down as Leeds his first attempt on goal yeah it's probably the first bit of positivity 33 minutes or so into the game that, that Leeds have had but they have to make the most of those opportunities because the rest of the time you know they're chasing shadows they're working really hard without the ball and closing down and pressing as much as they can but still nil-nil and while ever it's like that and they get themselves in front of the goal they have to take those chances currently Leeds nil Manchester City nil for the latest odds head to, head to Labrooks where right now you can get Leeds to win at 11 to 1 Manchester City to win at 10 to 3 on or back the draw at 18 to 5 all thanks to Labrooks play at labrooks.com 18 plus be gamble aware dot org now Rodri Sweeps a high ball wide to this near side, looking for Grealish. And rising was Christensen to head the ball away. And even when Grealish takes a throw in his boot here. Yeah, do you know what, Nice? The pitch doesn't look the best. I was going to say that. It's cutting up, isn't it? Yeah, which is really strange to say that, you know, they've, I think they've played friendless here, but it's not really been used that much. But it's, uh, it, it doesn't look in the best condition. No, they had a friendly here against Monaco last week when they lost 4-2 as Rico Lewis does well to win it back from Mark Rocker having initially been robbed and now the 18-year-old plays it wide to the far side and Mares, Mares comes in field here is Gundogan on the charge Melier again makes the block a missed kick from strike inside the penalty area a back header from De Bruyne and it's claimed by Melier and at the moment it is Ilya Melier against Manchester City yeah, Melier is keeping leads in it that and a little bit of luck where the ball's not quite bouncing for Manchester City but the goalkeeper Melier for Leeds when he's been called into action he's been absolutely brilliant Celtic now lead at Hibs by two goals to nil. Aaron Moy and Daisy Mieda for the leaders in Scotland. Rangers at half time are 2 0 up on Motherwell. Other half times, Dundee United leading Ross County 1 0. Kilmarnock are two goals up on Aberdeen. Two goals late in the first half from Scott Robinson and Joe Wright. 0 0 between Livingston and St Mirren and Hearts leading at half-time against St Johnston by two goals to nil. Here, it is nil-nil, with 35 minutes played. I'm not quite sure how at times, but Leeds at the moment are creaking, but standing firm. Zikanyu has been caught by Rodrigo, who apologises for leaving something on the Swiss international, who played every minute at the World Cup for his country before they were knocked out 
in the round of 16. And now for sure the neat pirouette, but he's lost out to Mares, and here is De Bruyne. Haaland makes the run ahead of him, but De Bruyne finds Grealish inside the penalty area. Right footed shot from him is blocked by Christensen. Now Ake again. Coming in field from the left hand side, finding De Bruyne onto the right foot. Swings in the right footed cross, which was behind everybody, and allows strike to clear. Now Rodri. Back towards Akanji once again. Stones with a raking ball forward from right to left to find De Bruyne. But De Bruyne was challenged by Greenwood. And the 20-year-old does really well to win it back. But then the ball forward just lacks the quality. And City have a throw-in on the halfway line. Yeah, apart from a couple of times where they've got Haaland in behind, everything's been in front of Leeds' defence. You know, they need the runners. They need the De Bruyne at Manchester City. And run the one in behind at the moment. I think Leeds... I wouldn't say comfortable defending, but the majority is in front of them. And City have scored 40 goals in their 14 games so far this season. And they've scored four or more on five occasions, which is a remarkable record, but it helps when you have a remarkable centre-forward. Ake, finding Grealish again on this near side. It leads to well to funnel him inside towards the halfway line. Rodrigo tries to halt him, but here is a Kanji again. And now Stones on the right, forward towards Mares. Lewis joins in, and the 18-year-old is not afraid to get forward. But now the ball forward for Mares has been closed down, and Leeds will have it back on this near side with Greenwood. Greenwood finding Mark Rocker. Strike is forward from left back, and now Wilfred Nonto. Everything going through him down the left-hand side. A low cross into the penalty area, though, was behind Rodrigo, who was the only white shirt waiting inside the penalty area, and City will clear. That's a, that's a good example, that, Nigel, where City have thrown bodies forward and then they lose it in the centre of the pitch, but Leeds have to be quicker to get right up the pitch. They've, they had the numbers then, and that's the opportunities that they can get themselves in front of City's goal. Now Nathan Ake fighting Grealish on this near side. Horshaw does well to track his run and at the moment Leeds are doing a good job of preventing the space in the wide areas but now Cooper in trying to do that has fouled Mahrez and it's a free kick for City in a very dangerous position wide on the far side there right. Yeah the, the, the left forwards and the, the left central midfielders for Leeds I think it's Nonto and Rocker they're working really hard to get out wide because that's where they've been vulnerable Leeds when they lose the ball the fullbacks have been exposed a number of times this season and they've conceded goals they're doing that well only two clean sheets in 19 games at home four leads in the Premier League and they are facing a set piece here Mahrez and De Bruyne are over it as Matthias Click begins to warm up in front of us here for Leeds for some talk he might be off to MLS in January. DC United are interested. Yeah, and he was never present for Bielsa, but he hasn't had that many minutes under Marsh. De Bruyne with a low free kick in towards Grealish. It was a clever setup, but Grealish leaning back right footed again sends it sailing high over the top. Yeah, he never looked convinced. It basically the ball was just played side foot behind or in front of the Leeds defence. They'd all gone with the attacking players of Manchester City, so. I mean, you can use the pitch as an excuse, but that's a poor effort. He didn't even look convinced himself, Grealish. Yeah, they've often had pitch problems here since arriving in the Premier League. They relayed it on two or three occasions during their first season. And you have to say, this does not look like a playing surface, which has not been used consistently for a month or so, although, of course, the weather has been pretty poor around here, along with everywhere else. Yeah, but they, they have those, the, the, the temperature machines and, and all that that go over the top of the lights and I don't I, I can't really understand it whether they're having issues or whether it's been used a lot but I don't think it I don't particularly think it has I don't think it's been used for, for rugby which sometimes it, it can be now stones for Manchester City and we have four minutes to play in the first half nil nil here on talk sport we brought you every single Premier League game from the Boxing Day programme live and exclusive to National Radio and we have more Premier League commentary coming up across the network on Friday. West Ham against Brentford, 7.45 on TalkSport 2. Liverpool against Leicester, 8 o'clock here on TalkSport with Sam Matterface and Mickey Gray. Sam back from his holidays.
as Aronson is challenged on the halfway line by Rodri and you'll gather from the ironic cheering all around us that Leeds have a free kick yeah they, they're starting to get um, big winners in duels now Leeds just as it I mean they're nowhere near got themselves in the game but trying to get a foothold Christensen forward inside the penalty area Rodrigo will try and keep the ball in play but he can't do so and it's gone behind for a goal kick now all the possession has been Manchester City Leeds have had a couple of flourishes obviously with the crowd backing them they look like they're getting themselves and creating chances but not really happened for them but in doing that as well you look at Manchester City they probably should have scored two or three goals but they haven't and that is confidence building for Leeds 12 shots from City so far only three on target 76% possession Leeds have had one shot from Wilfred Nonto which went high over the top now De Bruyne again arcs a ball wide to this near side and Grealish he comes in field onto his right foot the early ball into the penalty area Mahrez was challenging for it don't think he really got a significant touch and it's behind for a goal kick yeah so basically Grealish gets the ball out wide comes inside on his right foot and the angle that he plays it at is, is Mahrez running in and he had to twi twist round Mahrez and he just couldn't connect with the ball very well and it just went out for a goal kick Jack Grealish has seen plenty of the ball so far. Is he offering enough? Yeah, I, I think that he's been a little bit troubled with the treatment he's had from from the uh, the Leeds players, just trying to stop him being quite slightly aggressive with him. He's not really had that finished product yet. And we have two minutes to play in the first half, and it's very important for Leeds they get to half time on level terms at least. Yeah, because you know when you then you can have a half time team talk, you can tweak a couple of things tactically, but you've got a chance well, if it's nil-nil against Manchester City they'll give you a chance at the back at some point OK with a throw in on this near side in front of a barking Jesse Marsh on the edge of the technical area barking as in shouting and now Rodri wide to the far side and Stones once again as one or two people around us begin to head downstairs for the half-time refreshment Stones continuing on the far side but again it's Nonto who comes back to make the challenge and help strike out and City have a throw in yeah full commitment the hunting packs leads and at times City have played the ball really well around them but they're still running down dead ends and this the Leeds team who beat Chelsea here 3-0 and won 2-1 at Liverpool but they are really feeding off scraps here tonight it's all been about trying to stop Manchester City playing Rico Lewis coming forward now. Great run into the penalty area. The crossing, though, is volley clear by Cock. And now Nonto on the far side. Smartly brings the ball down. Plays it infield to Rocker. Rocker with the early ball over the top. Looking for Rodrigo. And this frustration from the Leeds crowd here because there was a simpler ball wide towards Greenwood on this near side. And here is Lewis in space into the penalty area. Right hand side for City. Into Greenwood. And again, he's missed. That's the third sitter he's missed late in the first half. This was the easiest one of the lot. Played into him by Rico Lewis on a plate, six yards out, and again it's over the top, and that's an absolute shocker from Jack Grealish. Yeah, he needed to get that on target. That's an understatement, but Rico Lewis, a little ball around the corner from De Bruyne, crossing from Rico Lewis, who's been absolutely incredible so far in this game, and then Jack Grealish swung his right boot at it, and the moment it is not his night. A minimum of one added minute here and Pep Guardiola stood there on the edge of the technical area he could not believe it and Jack really certainly couldn't Would have been but some it, goal it was tentative well. though yeah. wasn't it yeah he, he just doesn't look like he quite believes in that sort of shot on goal that he's got now Rodrigo at the other end finding Christensen who heads it forward to Greenwood just unable to play that crucial touch on towards Rodrigo and City can break now Jesse Marsh telling his team to get back quickly but it may be too late here is De Bruyne onto the edge of the penalty and Rodri and now Mahrez with a low shot brilliant save again but it's back to Rodri and this time Manchester City make no mistake and on the stroke of half time they take the lead and the first half of domination here at Ellen Road ends with the opening goal scored by Rodri Melier did all he could but this time he was helpless and Rodri slides in 
his first goal in the Premier League this season. It is Leeds United nil, Manchester City won. Tell you what, Nigel, Gundogan there brought the ball down. It, as Leeds were attacking and they got bodies forward, De Bruyne gets, five, gets across at the edge of the area and it's great play. I'm not sure whether Haaland's offside, but it's not Haaland that puts it in the net, it's Rodri. The shot, I think, first was uh, coming in from Mares, and Rodri comes off Melia. Rodri just puts it in. Whether the, the VAR looks at that, whether it's offside from Haaland in the build up, and obviously he's in front of Melia, so he will be involved in play. But that's a great move, and that's the first time that they've caught Leeds out of shape. Leeds have thrown themselves forward, they think they're going to get in front of goal. First goal that Manchester City have scored here tonight. It's been a long time coming. That is half time. And what a body blow that is to Leeds United. There are fans around us shaking their heads. They can't believe it because all they had to do was get to half time at nil nil, reset, regroup. They all got caught up field. They all got too excited. And Manchester City made them pay. Half time, Leeds United nil, Manchester City won. Thank you, Adrian. No changes to either side during half time. So here are the two teams again. Melier in goal for Leeds. Christensen, Cock, Cooper, and Strike the back four. Four short, and Rocker holding in midfield. Nonto, Aronson, and Greenwood behind Rodrigo. City, Edison in goal. Stones, Akanyi, Ake, and Lewis the back four. De Bruyne, Rodri, and Gundawan. Grealish, Haaland and Mares. Leeds in all white, defending the Norman Hunter stand away to our right-hand side. City in the chain strip, which has grey and black diagonal stripes, black shorts and black socks. And Stuart Atwell, our referee, gets more applause from the home crowd as he gives Leeds a free kick. And that wind is picking up, Lucy, isn't it? Yeah, it's swirling around, particularly the corners. And you look at the corner flags, and I think a couple of times in the first half, both teams, when the ball went up in the air, have been just struggling with where the ball goes. So I think the, the wind's definitely in increased, and it causes problems for teams. Leads a goal down, looking to move forward here with Aronson, and it's a good ball to find Greenwood, who's in space. Rodrigo to his left-hand side. No real support inside the penalty area. Christensen will try and get forward, but here is Forshaw, and his ball in field was deflected by Mares into the path of Gundogan, who clears long downfield. Melier, some way outside his penalty area, clears. It's then hoofed wide to this near side by Rodri, and De Bruyne off balance tries to play it in field towards Haaland, but it's skewed off the outside of his right boot, and it's gone behind for a goal kick. Yeah, I think that, that City will look at, because of the because of the state of the pitch and the way that it is that they, they need to take fewer passes and when they did go direct in the first half they actually created a chance when they went long from Edison because they can mix the game up City it actually worked for them I'm interested to see whether that happens in the second half but the goal came at a time when Leeds were looking to push forward themselves and they were caught out on the break which is pretty criminal when you're playing against a team like Manchester City. Yeah, and you're so close to half-time, Nigel, as well. You know, you, you sort of think twice about committing that many players forward. They probably thought that they were going to score, and then within probably three or four passes, the ball was in the back of the net. And Jesse Marsh was bellowing to his team to, to get back. But they were short-handed at a crucial time, as Grealish has been fouled on the far side by Mark Rocker, and it will be a free kick for Manchester City in fact it was Christensen who came in with the challenge and there will be words at least here from Stuart Atwell that was quite clever with that uh, Grealish because he came he stepped into the ball took a touch and he knew as he stepped across Christensen that all, all he could do was bring him down and Christensen couldn't stop in time and I don't think the referees brought a yellow card out but that is a I've probably got one more challenge and then it'll be a yellow card City worked the free kick in field from the left hand side. Now Ake fighting Grealish again, who comes in field. Lewis, 25 yards from goal. Wide to the right again on this near side of Mares. Back towards Lewis again, who's done well so far, the 18 year old, and he's been involved in a couple of opportunities which Jack Grealish really should have converted during the first half. But City do lead by a goal to nil, thanks to Roderick, with almost the final kick of the first half. Now Ake looking for Gundogan and Gundogan has ridden the challenge of Koch 
back to Ake, crossed high into the penalty area, seeking out Haaland, and it's claimed well by Melier at the near post. Yeah, he needed to think better then. Ake had, it, had the ball in a really good area within the within the penalty area and just clipped the ball over, easy for Melier. But that's a ch that was a chance for City to stretch the lead. And Ilya Melier coming back from glandular fever was magnificent for Leeds in the first half. And they could have been three or four goals down, but for his efforts. And Rodrigo, at the moment, looking increasingly isolated in the Leeds attack. And there's a couple of plastic bags blow around the Manchester City half of the field. And so far, Leeds have barely troubled the halfway line since half-time. Four minutes played, City leading here by a goal to nil. So if it stays like this, they will move back above Newcastle five points behind Arsenal and of course they still have to play them twice in the remainder of the season now Stones for City again back towards Akanji and Lewis was taken down late there by Forshaw but the referee allows play to continue because Gundogan has found Mares. Mares coming forward now at pace but it's an excellent recovery challenge on this near side from Cooper and Nonto will bring it forward he in turn has been bowled over by Mares, and it will be a free kick to Leeds yeah terrific defending Mares just front of the defender up and trying to come inside and it was well won ball out to Nonto to try and progress the ball up the pitch and stepped across Mares again he did what Grealish did Nonto then just stepped across he knew that Mares was behind him and he got the, the free kick but I tell you what Rico Lewis is some player some player as soon as he, he receives the ball he just keeps it moving it's so difficult to, to get the ball off him he was the captain of the under 18s this time last year and you feel he could have a major role to play in the first team Oh, it's been given away cheaply by Cooper. Grealish now has cleaned through. Haaland is square of him and Haaland taps in. And Erling Haaland returns to Allen Road and Leeds with a goal. And it was an absolute gift. Leeds at fault once again. Grealish, the player who was allowed to wriggle clear. And he found Haaland. And Haaland back in his hometown city. Well, he couldn't miss. His 25th goal of the season. And he's a player right at the top of his game. And Leeds really have gifted him a second goal there. Leeds nil, Manchester City two. And that could be game over six minutes into the second half. Well, Liam Cooper plays a square ball on the halfway line. Robin Cox not ready for it. And Jack Grealish just sneaks in. And Jack Grealish drives up the pitch. And instead of going one-on-one -on -one with Melier, he just squares it to Haaland. And it's a side foot into the back of there. Too easy as far as Leeds are concerned. And it's, good. it's a great finish, it's a great way of finishing, but it was a gift. 19 Premier League goals in 14 games for Erling Haaland. And that was one of his easier ones, and at times he's been on the fringes of the game here, and Jesse Marsh is just having words with the officials on this near side, but he turns away, and he knows his team of just given a goal on a plate and you probably could say that, that Leeds and that was more of a gift that second goal but, but a goal either side of our half time and that could just be too much for Leeds they, City, they did well to keep City out in the first half gave a goal away late and then you know that as soon as City get two goals in front you'll be really struggling to get back into it it's a devastating blow at the start of the second half for Leeds and we're back underway 52 minutes played at Ellen Road Leeds nil Manchester City 2 Rodri and Haaland with the goals and the darts continues over on Talk Sport 2 from Ali Pali and already this season Haaland's had three trebles and four doubles and they'll be looking for more here tonight now against a Leeds team who are in an impossible situation here they need to chase the game but if they do that they could get absolutely hammered yeah you, you would struggle to chase the game against Manchester City the way that they're playing the only thing that was probably missing from them was the, the finish in that first half but they've got two quick finishes either side of half time and not the stuffing out of Leeds who came out in the second half tried to commit more bodies forward but they've been punished because of a mistake you can't do that against City and the lead support as they often do in this sort of situation turning up the volume 
scarves have been whirled around heads but at the moment it's a long way back into this game Monto looking to try and provide a glimmer of hope on this near side but he's closed down by De Bruyne and Lewis and it will be a throw into Leeds and it's the Manchester City fans away to our right hand side in great voice here uh, also Grealish was absolutely terrified that he was going to mess that uh, just that side foot pass across to Haaland because of the, the game that he'd had in the first half and the misses that he'd had but he played his part and did really well Grealish Nonzo again on the near side for Leeds turning away from Rodri and he continues into the penalty a lovely run from him the shot is blocked by Stones it comes out to Christensen on the far side he comes in field the low shot from him is blocked by Gundogan and now Haaland will find Gundogan Haaland was caught there but Gundogan will continue the high ball forward seeking out De Bruyne guided back by the head of Cooper towards Melian yeah Nonzo did well then and the more that he gets the ball the more positive that Leeds look but the you see, he's quite happy to run at defenders. And here is Rodrigo for Leeds. Wide to this near side and Nonto. And Leeds choosing to play on the front foot. Aronson tries a right-footed shot, but he got right underneath it from the edge of the penalty area, and it's a goal kick. Now we talked about Leeds being near the bottom or worried about being at the bottom what they have to do when they get opportunities they have to at least get it on target they've got to score goals they've got to score I mean, obviously this game might be beyond them now but there are going to be games that they play where the chance of getting three points and they must do that they've got Newcastle next then West Ham West Ham they have to target to, to win that game sure you're listening to Leeds against Manchester City on Talk Sport with Now Sports and don't forget with Now Sports you can stream the Premier League live without a contract from 11.99 search Now Sports 18 plus stream by our internet terms apply and now Grealish has been fouled by Mark Rocker again on the far side it will be a free kick and it's been a great response from the Leeds crowd here 55 minutes played they're 2-0 down and all around this ground there are fans on their feet whirling those scarves above their heads in a show of defiance if nothing else but you don't want to be known as that though now you don't no. want to be known as, as still singing oh they're really good the Leeds fans because they sing when they're losing they want to be winning I, mean, I know it's a tall order against City but I don't want to having that to be a running theme because they've not had that many home wins in the Premier League and so they need to turn that around as soon as they can only three so far this season and this will be a run of eight points in 12 games which without any question is relegation form yeah I think that, that the fans were really on Jesse Marsh's back leading up to um, I think it was in October time leading up to the World Cup break and then they got a couple of, of results but I think when you like that the, the fans are just waiting because you know some of them have some misgivings about uh, about him but He's getting, when however he's getting results and that won't happen City now give the ball away cheaply here is Forshaw forward to Greenwood now wide to the left hand side back in field towards Forshaw again Rodrigo continues his run towards the edge of the penalty area but City regroup and Leeds have to go back to the halfway line Rocker fighting Forshaw it's a good ball and now Christensen sliding the ball in towards the edge of the penalty area Akanji is able to clear and then strike almost wins it back from Mares, who was forced back towards the penalty area and it's Ake on the far side who finds Grealish headed on by Gundogan into the Leeds half Haaland will almost win it back Leeds playing a very high line again and now the flag is raised for offside against De Bruyne and Leeds there were dicing with more trouble yeah but it was better from Leeds because they're going to have to come out a little bit and they've got themselves up the pitch for sure had done well but then they give it away and they just look at the back line of Leeds and they look a, it looks a little bit sparse. 57 minutes played here on Talk Sport. More live and exclusive Premier League commentary from Ellen Road where Manchester City lead by two goals to nil. Aronson coming forward now and he's fouled by Roger and it will be a free kick. 15 yards inside the City half and that's one of those technical fouls. Yeah, a little bit of a nudge from Rodri on Aronson fair enough I don't think it's a booking but it's definitely a foul Mark Rocker over the free kick high towards the far post Cock rising with the header nods it down but it's claimed by Edison 
a goalkeeper who has had very, very little to do in this game so far. Well, they've given it a goal since the second goal. Leeds trying to get themselves up the pitch, but you've always got to think about the what-ifs. What if we lose it? We need to have some sort of cover because 3-0 we're definitely not going to come back from. Rodri with a back pass to Edison outside his penalty area. And he clears downfield. That's marching all together. Reverberates around Ellen Road once again. 58 minutes played here on Talk Sport. Leeds nil. Manchester City two. Goals either side of half time from Rodri and Erling Haaland. The second one, an absolute gift. Now Nonto. A support from Strike who then careers into the challenge with Lewis, but City have the ball back again on the far side with Ake. And now De Bruyne has got room in which to work and he strides forward towards the edge of the penalty area. Haaland finding Gundogan, it's great football, but Gundogan on the stretch puts it high over the top via a deflection for a corner. Should have scored. Gundogan, it was a driving run from midfield. De Bruyne had a look at Haaland, one touch inside and it took a touch Gundogan but he just couldn't get it out from underneath his feet. And by the time he did for that second touch, he was closed down. It's great defending. Corner kick for Manchester City on this near side. And Riyad Mahrez will take it. And Calvin Phillips is warming up in front of us. Some good nature banter from the Leeds fans. The corner is flicked on by Akanji towards Haaland. It's now gathered by Grealish, left hand side of the penalty area. A lofted ball in, is headed away by Nonto. Aronson will gather for Leeds but he turns into Gundogan and City very quickly have it back <laughs> you're too fat to play for Leeds as the champ from the Leeds fans <laughs> with tons firmly in cheeks yeah definitely yeah, he's taking it in good nature I think I don't think there's be anything malicious about the Leeds fans singing about Calvin Phillips no and in fairness to him he's got a smile on his face as well Leeds have a free kick, midway inside their own half, an hour played, City leading here by two goals to nil, so the gap between themselves and Arsenal will be back to five points as Rodrigo looks to pick a high ball up on the edge of the penalty area, but again, he is so isolated, when he does get the ball, the nearest white shirt is 25 yards away from him. Yeah, because they're all worried about when City win the ball back, but at some point you have to have the balance, you have to get up and around and support him, because he's hardly touched it, Rodrigo. Declan McCarthy, our producer now, tells me that Erling Haaland has scored more Premier League goals than his dad, Alfie Inga, and he's done it in 167 games fewer. And his dad was a very popular figure here between 1997 and the year 2000 before moving on to Manchester City, just before Erling Haaland was born. Oh, it's been given away by Akanji. Here is Nonto coming forward now. Was he fouled by Rico Lewis? He was. And it's a free kick for Leeds, 30 yards out, and a yellow card for the 18-year-old. Yeah, Rico Lewis is just arguing with the referee that he didn't touch Nonto. I think he put his hand on his shoulder, and then they clicked heels. But the, I think the point of that is that he was given away. Akanji tried to play a straight ball through the middle, and it put Rico Lewis in a position where he was always behind Nonto. Greenwood over the free kick, along with Mark Rocker, probably too far out for a shot, you would think. But City again have pulled everybody behind the ball here. A reminder will be at the Etihad, 3 o'clock on Saturday on Talk Sport for Manchester City against Everton with Adrian, Mark Wilson and Danny Mills. Clive Tilsley and Stuart Pearce will bring you Wolves against Manchester City at 12.30. Before that, on Friday night, Joe Shannon and David Connolly have West Ham against Brentford. And then at 8 o'clock, that's on TalkSport 2, 8 o'clock on TalkSport, Sam Matterface and Mickey Gray have Liverpool against Leicester for you. Download the TalkSport app and you can swipe between whichever commentaries are currently underway on the network. Free kick here for Leeds and Greenwood is possibly eyeing this one up. And he does hit it right-footed into the wall, which leapt. It may have been Haaland who got the final touch. It spins away to the far side, and Ake will get there before Christensen. And he clears downfield. And as far as Cock, 
The cock has then lost out and City again here can break. De Bruyne's got Haaland in space to his left but it's wide to Mahrez on the right here. 63 minutes played. Manchester City leading here by two goals to nil. Rodri fighting De Bruyne again. 25 yards out. Haaland on the edge of the penalty area. Opens up for the shot but instead finds Grealish. It's poked back to Haaland and Haaland gets his second and Manchester City's third and he remains unstoppable and there is no sentiment here for his hometown team if you give Haaland the service he will always score and he has two in the second half here already and with 63 minutes played it's Leeds nil, Manchester City 3 I tell you what, it's all about De Bruyne here and he's, he drives forward but you see, we talk about the, how bad a half really shot in the first half. He's got two assists now. He set Haaland up twice. That's a terrific little. He's a give and go Haaland. He gets himself in space, and it's instinctive. His finish is instinctive. Yeah, Grealish laid it on the plate to him, and probably Melier would have hoped to have done better. But he was unsighted. But it's because he took it so early. It was very, very difficult for Melier to get anything on it. Changes for Leeds. Ailing and Click are coming on, and it's Christensen and Forshaw who are going off. We talk about teams needing 20 goal strikers, Lucy. Harlan's got 20 goals now in 14 games. Tell you what, is he, he actually makes teams look like pub teams. It, uh, you know, the, the way that he scores goals against them at, at times is unbelievable. And that's his fifth double of the season, and he'll be looking now for his fourth hat trick in the Premier League this season. He is rewriting the record books. And Leeds here are on the way to another hammering against another big club. Here is Click though. Could be his farewell to Allen Road as Ailing looks to chase on the far side, but he's been caught by Rodri and it will be a Leeds free kick, which is 10 yards from the byline down there right. Yeah, an opportunity. Uh, one thing that you know about, everybody knows about Luke Ailing. He always does that flop. He always just gets his body in between and then just falls on the floor and referees fall for it every time. The Leeds fans love it. 25 minutes to play. 3-0 to Manchester City here. And it's a heavy loss for Leeds. As the free kick is whipped high into the penalty area and in the end, Leeds are they penalised again for a foul. Gundogan is the player who is down. Or will Stuart Atwell make them take it again yeah, this time? Yeah, I think it, maybe it happened before. I think it was Cooper that just caught Gundogan across the face. But I don't know what the referee's given it. Maybe it happened as they were just jostling for position before it was taken. So Leeds will try again. Stuart Atwell just having words with players from both sides here. Manchester City are about to make at least one change. Joao Cancelo will be coming on shortly but it's a free kick which is whipped high into the penalty area and almost over Edison who got a touch on that and it's a corner kick in the end yeah worth an effort that because of the way the wind's swirling just to test Edison at his far post it's really whipped in as well just got a touch to it and Sam Greenwood who played that free kick in will now take the corner Leeds is first of the game at the midpoint of the second half trailing by three goals to nil and then swinger from Greenwood headed across the face of his own goal by De Bruyne Akanji then with a back header and Leeds will have another corner surely but well he's given a goal kick he's got that wrong yeah I think that it may have just touched the back of the head of a, of a Leeds player initially it did look like it was a going to be a corner and it came across I think it was maybe it touched Alien I can't really tell much of the replays on our screen at the moment but I presume that was a corner Rico Lewis is coming off to be replaced by Joao Cancelo I'll tell you what he's been superb yeah. Rico Lewis what a player what a player that young man is and you keep he just he can't, you can't get near when you give him the ball you can't get near him because he moves he gets a big hug from Pep Guardiola is what you would call press resistant he, he just resists any sort of person a player getting in, in in his face and tackling him he just releases the ball before then he's only 18 and he gets a bear hug from Pep Guardiola 
here is a Kanji who did get the final touch a few moments ago when the ball went through the penalty area so Leeds may feel aggrieved but they're 3-0 down anyway here with 22 minutes to play on talk sport the sports bar coming up with Jamie O'Hara and Jermaine Pennant at the end of this game 03717 double two double three double four is the number to have your say if you're a Leeds or a Manchester City fan on your way home from this game tonight or a fan of any other team and you're listening to Leeds against Manchester City on Talk Sport with Car Finance 24-7 search Car Finance 24-7 today as Leeds win it back on this near side strike finding Nonto and Nonto who has been a bright spark on a night of very few for Leeds this time has given the ball away but it's won back by Greenwood City chief in possession on this occasion Rocker finding Nonto again back in field towards Rocker high cross into the penalty area and again that's the problem for them it's over the head of Rodrigo and there was nobody else waiting in a white shirt and now from Edison's throw out Grealish is away down the left hand side he comes back in field he's been caught by Click and it will be a free kick or is it? Yeah, the free kick's been given and a yellow card for Click. Yeah, Click fouled him then, no doubt about it, just clicked his heels. I'm not sure that the two assists that he's got, he, not, he really cares, he's really turned his, the way that he's playing around Grealish. I think he probably needed those two assists the way that he played in the first half. Yeah, Matthias Click on his way into the book and there's just a bit of afters there involving... Wilfred Nonto and Jack Grealish on the far side as the wind picks up and Nonto receives a yellow card as well. Yeah, he, I think he pushed himself into, into Grealish. Looked like he was laughing, but in the end, the ref, because he was remonstrating that much, Nonto, that he actually got a yellow card as well. And there will be more changes for Leeds very soon. Diego Lorente will be coming on along with one of the youngsters Joe Geldhart as the free kick into the penalty area is claimed by Melier but he was left helpless twice in the second half the goals from Erling Haaland to add to the one right at the end of the first half from Rodri and Manchester City leading here by three goals to nil they've now scored 43 goals in not quite 15 games this season and Leeds have conceded 72 goals in the calendar year in the Premier League which is their worst ever record at the highest level but the changes are now being made for Leeds and it's Liam Cooper who is going off to be replaced by Diego Lorente Rodrigo is the other player who makes way. He's barely had a kick in the game, and it's not really his fault. Yeah, I'll tell you what, you could probably put his kit back in the skip, Rodrigo, but like you say, Nigel, not necessarily all his fault. He just couldn't get the ball to him. And Jack Grealish <laughs> applauds all four sides of Ellen Road as he makes his way off. Maybe a degree of sarcasm in that, and he's replaced by Phil Fogan. the Leeds crowd gave him a send-off but after a very poor first half in terms of finishing from Jack Grealish he's provided two assists yeah, in the second yeah I'd say his contribution in the second half was so important it was quite interesting because whether he would have been taken off at half time but Guardiola doesn't tend to do that and leaving him on has created those two goals in the second half for Erling Haaland that's for sure the Leeds have won a corner on this near side 18 minutes to play on Talk Sport both Danny Mills and Stuart Pearce will be looking back on the Premier League action in Talksport Breakfast tomorrow morning from 6. Greenwood with the corner, headed on and headed in, and Leeds have a goal back. It's a long way back for them, but this may be a start for them. And it's Pascal Strike who can celebrate his new contract with a goal, his second of the season. And Manchester City caught out at the set piece and their lead has been trimmed to 3-1. Yeah, and that was a good set piece. Great header by strike. What I tell you about betting on both teams to score with in a Leeds game because they always get a chance. Set piece wise have been a lot better. Edison saw that late and 
I think if it hadn't have been for the third goal for City, then this place would have expected Leeds to get back into it. But the interesting last quarter of the game. Well, Leeds now pouring forward in search of a goal to really make it a contest with 17 minutes to play here. Manchester City leading by three goals to one. And from their point of view, they'll be very disappointed to concede it from a set piece like that. Absolutely. I, I, I think it was more or less a, a free header from strike. He did very, very well with it. But like I say, Edison saw it late, got something to it, but, but not enough. And just a little bit more uncomfortable for Manchester City, the remaining part of this game, than they would have hoped for. Now, OK, plays it down the line on the far side, but it's closed down by click, and it will be a throw-in. And we have 16 minutes to play on Talk Sport. 03717, double two, double three, double four, the number to call the sports bar at the end of this game. And we'll be around the grounds on kickoff tomorrow night from seven. Busy night up and down the EFL. And we have Premier League commentaries on Talk Sport and Talk Sport 2 on Friday evening. And it's a big start to 2023 as well. The Sunday session with Sam Matterface on New Year's Day as Mares comes forward now. Fighting De Bruyne on the edge of the penalty area and he tried to go for precision right footed. And he side foots it into the arms of Melier. Yeah, it actually took it really early De Bruyne. He was trying to catch Melier out but he's been very even. He's conceded three goals Melier but well, again it really a, a his fault. And he's, he kept them in the game as long as possible in the first half. And at the start of the new year on Talk Sport, we have Brentford Liverpool at 5.30 on Talk Sport. Queen's Park Rangers against Sheffield United will also be on Talk Sport from the Championship at 8 o'clock. The final of the darts will be on Talk Sport too. Then on Tuesday night, the 3rd of January, Manchester United against Bournemouth is an 8 o'clock kickoff. And on the Wednesday, the 4th of January, Saints against Forest, a big game at the bottom on Talk Sport too. Villa against Wolves. Is another big game at the bottom here on Talksport. And after all the Premier League action is sorted out at the start of the new year, we have the third round of the FA Cup. And the football never stops on the Talksport network as Manchester City just look to take the sting out of Leeds here, leading by three goals to one with 14 minutes to play. Haaland heads it down for De Bruyne on this near side and wide towards Mares three in field for him and you can make that four as Xiao Cancelo picks it up and finds Ake and Manchester City looking to re-establish their three goal lead here but Geldart steps in to challenge Foden and in the end he's won a throw in on the far side yeah they've not panicked Manchester City nor would we expect them to a couple of times have got forward on the counter since Leeds scored their goal and De Bruyne at the heart of that on that right hand side now strikes ball forward, looks for Greenwood, but it's overhit. And it's straight to Jesse Marsh inside the technical area. And you, you don't really judge a manager fighting relegation in a game against Manchester City, but is there anything different he could have done here? Well, probably not. I, I mean, they, they, they didn't pass the ball particularly well in the first half, Leeds. They create chaos, but then they're not calm when they do win the ball. And, you know, that I think they risked it that they were going to concede. And here is Haaland in for the hat trick. Melier, though, again makes the save. Haaland seemed a certainty to claim the match ball there, but Melier makes another brave block. Yeah, he came out really quickly, Melier, but I would suspect that uh, Haaland will think that's a really poor finish and not what you, you would expect. But Melier, again, quick out, gets Haaland's head down so that he has to make a decision quick how to finish. Now Stones square towards a Kanye the wind now is as strong as it's been throughout the game and it's ruffling the shirts on both teams as Gundogan plays the ball in field towards Harlan but Cox tries to win it back but here is Jao Cancelo charging forward but players being brought back to penalize Harlan for the earlier challenge on Cox yeah, Cancelo was nearly away there in the middle of the pitch won the ball back and the referee judged that there was a pullback. I'm not sure by who. And here is Aronson down the left hand side for Leeds. Greenwood makes the run towards the near post. And now Greenwood with the ball in. Oh, it's jabbed just wide by Geldhart. Well, that would have made things interesting. Geldhart 
getting there inside the penalty area before Rodri and Edison was beaten but the ball just squirted inches beyond the far post yeah Gellart there absolutely brilliant and he just sniffs out when he can get a chance and he was really unlucky there that it didn't end up in the far post he just got a stab to it as it comes across so Gellart yet to score in the Premier League this season this is 12th appearance but 11 of those have come from the bench as Gundogan has been caught by Greenwood and it will be a free kick for Manchester City 11 minutes to play here and we'll get reaction from both teams at the end of this game as a number of people here in the main stand are just standing up around us for some reason I'm not sure whether there was a bit of arguing on the benches Jesse Marsh is always involved in some sort of altercation somewhere he seemed to be fairly calm there but any order appears to have been restored here is Akanji finding Stones on this near side down the line for De Bruyne and Stones will try and bring it forward again here for Manchester City although they've conceded have been fairly comfortable Ake's ball forward looks for Foden on the far side but it's quickly cut out by Cock Gelhart comes short but it's Aronson who was further forward on the right hand side and now Ailing. Ailing tries to squirt it back towards Aronson but he's closed down and it will be a throw in in the end to Leeds midway inside the City half on the far side and Foden just holds on to the ball for a second or two to annoy the lead support and Gelhart wide on the right hand side plays it back to Ailing, and now flick from Aronson looks to find Gelhart once again but City at full stretch will get the ball away and now Rodri can bring the ball down but Mahrez has lost out and here is Nonto in a central area and he's fouled by Rodri and it's a free kick for Leeds 20 yards out dead centre and Rodri this time will be booked tell you what that's Manchester City trying to fiddle the ball out you know, they're trying to play really short passes on this pitch with Leeds crowding them out and again Nonto gets his body in between a little bit like what Grealish does in between the ball and the defender and Rodri fell for it right on the edge of the area and to free kick for Leeds we mentioned earlier on that Paris Saint-Germain are making their seasonal bow following the World Cup tonight they're currently drawing 1-1 with Strasbourg and Neymar on his return to their team has been sent off he wants New Year off Nige that's <laughs> how it works well he and Mbappe are playing Messi of course is otherwise engaged at the moment Rangers have beaten Motherwell by three goals to nil full time at Ibrox Hearts now leading St Johnston 3-2 Celtic are four up against Hibbs Aaron Moy has two of those but this is a free kick for Leeds in a very good position Greenwood is over this Foden is the draft excluder behind the wall Mark Rocker is also expressing an interest and a goal now for Leeds and we will have a big finish it'll be Greenwood who curls it right footed and he whipped it over the wall but it was wider than near post yeah he's had a couple of those Greenwood it takes a lot of time setting it up and then that got a little bit closer to the goal but not that much full time in Scotland Dundee United 3 Ross County 0 Kilmarnock have beaten Aberdeen by 2 goals to 1 it's finished 1-1 between Livingston and St Mirren as we said Rangers beating Motherwell by three goals to nil Marek Tillman with the goal in the second half Hearts having to hold off St Johnston in the end but they've won that game 3-2 and Celtic four up at Hibs the TV now has just shown why there was everybody was having a look because Guardiola was that annoyed he kicked a water bottle and it landed in Leeds uh, to, to one of the Leeds staff I think who was sitting down at the side of the pitch and then he immediately apologised Brendan Aronson has come off on this near side and Darko Gibi has come on a player who was part of the Calvin Phillips deal an England under 19 international came through the academy at Manchester City a reminder with the big transfer news tonight Liverpool have completed the signing of Cody Gakpo the Dutch international from PSV Eindhoven the big the first really big move of the transfer window and of course we will have news of everything that moves and even those that don't 
right throughout the month here on Talk Sport. And you can get more details on that Cody Gatko move on talksport.com this, this evening. Now Cock with a long ball forward. Gelhart will chase. A can you though will get there first and it's claimed by Edison. And then Edison just goes down under the challenge of Gelhart. And Stuart Atwell, I think, has just told him to get on with things. Yeah, I think I think Gellard pushed Kanji into Edison and that caused Edison to go down. He didn't he didn't I think he thought that Edison had the ball, so he didn't get a free kick. Six minutes to play here on Talk Sport at Ellen Road. Leeds one, Manchester City three, 03717, double two, double three, double four, the number to call the sports bar with Jamie O'Hara and Jermaine Pennant at the end of this game. And don't forget we'll have reaction to this game during that programme and also in Talk Sport Breakfast with Adam Catterall and Gabby Agbon the Hall from six o'clock tomorrow morning. Now Rocker. Just losing out to Rodri. Stones flips it wide to the far side. And Ake. And Manchester City here. May believe they've seen off that flurry from Leeds after the goal from Pascal Strike. Yeah, City are so good at just taking the sting out of games just by connecting three or four or five passes and then switching play. And now De Bruyne has been dragged down on the far side. And the yellow card is out again. And it's for the youngster Sam Greenwood this time. 36,889 the crowd inside Ellen Road this evening. One or two beginning to head off home now on a very cold night. And of course Leeds have a big game coming up. Tough one as well away to Newcastle. And then at home to West Ham, and at the moment that's got the look of a relegation six-pointer. Yeah, I suppose they looked at the games coming up and thinking about if they could try and get something from this, a point perhaps, but definitely with eyes on the West Ham home game. And Manchester City will be live on Talk Sport on Saturday, three o'clock against Everton. Here is Foden inside the penalty area, but it's cleared away by Lorente. And then City have two games against Chelsea in quick succession, away to them in the Premier League and then at home to them live on Talk Sport in the FA Cup third round but we've seen Leeds' clear problem here tonight Lucy can't defend no and then when they get themselves in front of goal they struggle to, to score as well yeah, they've got a goal from a set piece but don't offer threat in fact Gelhardt has offered more threat than Rod Rodrigo has throughout the whole game and he replaced him and Rodrigo not necessarily the player you would want leading the line, more of a link-up player, but needs musters. It's given away by Mark Rocker inside his own penalty area. Foden gathers. And now it's wide from Rodri on the far side towards Foden again. But the throne has been conceded by Greenwood. And more and more Leeds fans beginning to head off home now with Manchester City leading here by three goals to one. And they keep Arsenal in their sights as Haaland wins a corner kick off Ailing on the far side, the Manchester City left. And it could come down to those two games, couldn't it? Absolutely. City against Arsenal. Absolutely, it could. And, you know, we know how well Arsenal are playing. It doesn't look to be any let-up whatsoever. So City know that they have to put a good run together. And I think they'll be pleased so far with this performance tonight because it really is a difficult place to come, Ellen Road, regardless of where Leeds are in the league. De Bruyne will take the corner kick on the far side. A number of City's big hitters are playing 90 minutes here, it seems. De Bruyne flights it in towards Rodri, who nods down. Ake on the turn, unable to get the shot in. And in the end, it was Stones falling backwards who hit the ball towards goal, and it was high over the top. Yeah, Stones, a good old bouncy boy, would relish scoring against Leeds, that's for sure. He was always leaning. Now Wivenshaw born Cole Palmer will come on for Manchester City. Another one of their locally produced players to replace Riyad Mahrez. And Palmer, another player who gets plenty of minutes around the first team for Manchester City. And people always look to Phil Foden, but as Rico Lewis has shown tonight, he's far from the only one. Yeah, they've got some excellent youngsters coming through 
invest a lot in that academy the local boys the likes of Palmer and Foden coming through but Rico Lewis has been a, a standout player in, in fact <laughs> Lee scored the goal after he went off and Lee's got a little bit of joy which is quite interesting Edison plays it short towards Stones who I don't think was anticipating the ball on this near side and he's given the ball away GB wide towards Nonto who comes in field and now click inside the penalty area closed down GB tries to win it back against his former club fires in the shot it's blocked almost falls for Geldhart but he can't dig the ball out from underneath his feet and City will clear but now click again wide on the Leeds United right hand side as we head towards the 90th minute here 3-1 Manchester City lead but they get a throw in Leeds taken quickly and Greenwood tries to find click but City will clear up towards the halfway line Haaland brings it down but quickly the challenge comes in from Gibi and it will be a throw in on the far side to Manchester City in the end see I can't understand how Gelhart doesn't get more minutes for Leeds he looks the most natural in front of goal of, of any of the forwards obviously Bamford's been injured a lot not counting him but and he always works hard creates chances for himself as well Currently Leeds 1, Manchester City 3. For the latest odds, head to Labrooks. Right now you can get Leeds to score next at 10 to 1. You can back Manchester City to score at 13 to 5. Or you can back the no score option at 5 to 2 on. All thanks to Labrooks. Play at labrooks.com. 18 plus, begambleaware.org. And we're closing, heading towards the final seconds here. With Manchester City heading towards another away victory and a winning start to life back in the Premier League after the World Cup break. And there will be a minimum of five more minutes. Now the ball slid into the penalty area and almost put into his own goal at the near post by Akanyi. It was Geldhart who was forward. And in the end, the ball just bubbles behind. Yes, great player. What did I tell you about Geldhart? He gets in good positions and he causes concern for defenders Akanji had to make that block otherwise he would have had a free shot on goal corner kick for Leeds Mark Rocker will take it and we are one minute into five added minutes here Rocker floated high into the penalty area Edison claims unchallenged and the sense of anticipation around Alan Rowe quickly dissipates yeah they, they've he sort of had fits and starts, often puff leaves in the second half, particularly after they scored, but I think City got them at arm's length in some respects, but some of the times that they've tried to pass out from the back when being under pressure, City, they really do take risks there. And now De Bruyne on the move once again. High ball from left to right to find Palmer. Haaland waits inside the penalty area. Palmer checks on to his left foot and then back again and eventually plays it square. And City heading back towards the halfway line here. Cancelo was involved and now Palmer will make the burst forward into the penalty area. Lorente has lost him. Palmer continues. It's played square to Xiao Cancelo. It's blocked. It'll come to Haaland. And the shot is also blocked. Now De Bruyne wins it back for Manchester City. Still going in the 92nd minute here. Clips the ball into the penalty area. Palmer though has lost out to Gibi and then brings him down and it will be a free kick. Yeah, there was a number of attempts on goal as the ball good work by Cole Palmer on the on the right hand side but nobody could really get a clear shot Haaland desperate to get his hat trick it was blocked and Haaland has had plenty of chances here tonight he scored two he could have had five absolutely could he could have scored his first in the first minute but I think he'll be quite happy with his, the two goals that he's got Lorente plays it forward again but Stones will bring the ball down on the chest and go all the way back towards Edison 03717 double two double three double four the number to call the sports bar at the end of this game with Jamie O'Hara and Jermaine Pennant and Manchester City doing what they've had to do here and they've left Leeds peering over their shoulders before a game at Newcastle coming up over the weekend now Lorente on this near side wide towards Nonto who has kept going for Leeds down the left often with 
little service or little prospect of finding a teammate in field and Shibi and Rocker will try and play the ball through the midfield Gelhart given the invitation to chase a through ball but Ake cuts off his route towards goal and here is Jao Cancelo once again now Palmer pokes it back in field and City always seem to have one sometimes two players in support yeah as soon as they start moving it one and two touch it's just impossible to, to press and then they just one and two passes and then they just switch it out where, where they have three players and here is Jean Cancelo infield towards De Bruyne again who has been the puppet master for Manchester City as he so often is and City just playing keep ball in the closing stages here and this will really hurt Leeds and Jesse Marsh stands there nothing he can do arms thrust deep into pockets his team have been outplayed at times but now Cancelo's given the ball away here is Nonto coming forward towards the edge of the penalty area but Cancelo comes back to win it back for Manchester City and he's found De Bruyne with the help of a deflection now long over the top Foden will chase Ailing knows he's somewhere in the vicinity and Melier comes outside his penalty area to clear and City have a throw in on the far side Casella did so well just popped the ball inside where he knew De Bruyne would be and then De Bruyne just had the pitch out open in front of a long ball out to, to Foden that between them Ailing and Melier dealt with well, there's a handshake here between Jesse Marsh and Pep Guardiola before the end of the game that's almost Mourinho like I think Jesse Marsh just can't can't wait to get to the dressing room. <laughs> What's going on? Well, that's it. It's all over. Manchester City are back from the World Cup with three points, and the lead between themselves and Arsenal is back to five points. Erling Haaland returning to Leeds, the city of his birth, and he showed them no sympathy with two second half goals. And overall, it was very very comfortable for Pep Guardiola's team. Full time. Leeds United 1, Manchester City 3.